you somehow forgot what November is supposed to feel like, mm. welcome back. Just pad my argument. Yep. I was backing off my argument a little in the first half of November. Oh, maybe it's not as bad as I thought in November. No, here we are. <laughs> uh, it's cold. The sun sets at 4 o'clock tomorrow in Bangor, so there you go. We got down to some of our coldest readings of the season so far this morning. 18 in Portland, 5 in Berlin, New Hampshire, 14 in Millinocket. That's cold for this time of year. Average low is 30 degrees. A couple of snow showers and squalls. I don't know if you guys caught any of those squalls yesterday. Those are those are kind of fun when they roll through as long as they're not too intense. We've got a few into Arista County over the next couple of hours, but the rest of us will be dry as the night progresses. And it's worth noting tonight will not be as cold as last night. We'll drop down into the 20 shore and probably right around 30 along the coastline, but not those teens and single digits that we had out there last evening early this morning and that gives us a platform to build a nicer day tomorrow more sunshine temperatures a little bit warmer or i guess about six seven degrees warmer so that's considerable to around 40 degrees by tomorrow afternoon a few clouds overnight tomorrow night again right around freezing for an overnight low and then wednesday is actually our warmest day isolated flurry in the in the morning after that we get into the mid 40s with a mixture of sun and clouds. Good travel day. A lot of people obviously taking off on Wednesday and then coming back on Friday or Saturday. We'll talk about the second half of that in a minute, but the first half looks good. All right, Thanksgiving forecast. This is a graphic that our graphics company actually sends to us. We do not create this oddity, but either way, it'll be in the mid 20s for uh, the morning. Todd put turkey trot. I don't run, so skip that. 30 degrees through the middle of the day around the time you might eat and then the afternoon into the mid 30s. So it'll be below average, but not brutally cold. All right. What about the storm that we were talking about for Friday? Where is it? Well, it turns out it missed its flight stuck down in the Gulf. Watch this cold front approaches for Friday. That'll give us a, a late sprinkle or a flurry. There's that front. Here's the storm. It got missed. It was originally going to get picked up by that front. Now it isn't. So what happens is the front goes offshore. The weekend's pretty good. And then Sunday night into Monday, there's the storm. Allegedly. We'll believe it when we get a little bit closer, right? And I never like those storms that are always seven days away. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep an eye on it. It is the same storm. It's the same area of low pressure. Just missed its original bus there uh, for Friday. So that actually is good news. It means that Friday and Saturday at least will be fine. In fact, it could be a little warmer than I have there. Some models have us popping into the low 50s on small business Saturday, which would be lovely. And then we'll see what happens Sunday night into Monday. I do think we're going to connect with the storm eventually. Mm. It's like a misconnections classified ad situation, but at some point, just not the end of the week. And we need some backstory on that turkey uh, video behind your graphic because yeah. I just thought, what's the thing? What's the story here? The weirder thing is somebody at the company, our graphics company, spent time making that model. Okay. I need a turkey <laughs> with sunglasses. This is going to take me and three the other hours. And shivering. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back.